Wow, what a week it has been in Rideshare Finance. In this video, I'm going to cover four topics. First one, I'm going to cover Uber and Lyft losing their legal battle, classifying drivers as independent contractors versus employees. Two, are Uber and Lyft actually going to leave California as a result of that on August 21st? Third, What's the status of the stimulus talks and getting more money into our hands, unemployment funds? And fourth, what can drivers do to prepare for these uncertain times? I'm gonna give you about four different options. Everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And you may notice um, things are a little expanded. I'm using a wide angle lens. So uh, you can see more of the background that way and uh, it balances out a little bit. So I'm going to try it out, see how it looks on YouTube. All right, enough of background. Let's get right into this big week. OK, number one, Uber and Lyft lose legal battle in California. So AB5 passed January 1st, went into law by the letter of the law. We the drivers are employees. OK. Uber and Lyft um, ignored that. Um, they put together Proposition 22, which will be on the ballot on uh, November 3rd. But in the meantime, uh, the California District Attorney and three big cities said, hold on, uh, you, you can't just skirt the law. Uh, the judge ruled. Uber and Lyft appealed. The judge said no. And that's where we're at right now. All right. So let me kind of break this timeline down for you. This is uh, from an article called Human Capital, a timeline of Uber and Lyft's fight against AB5. Uh, August 9th, uh, Judge Shulman grants the preliminary injunction, which goes, goes into effect August 20th. Interesting what the judge said. The court is under no illusion that implementation of its injunction will be costly, uh, Judge Shulman wrote in the order. There can be no question that in order for defendant to comply with AB5, they will have to change the nature of their business practices in significant ways, such as by hiring human resources staff to hire and manage their driver workforce. All right, August 12th, Uber CEO Derek Kazraswahi says Uber will have to temporarily shut down in California if the court doesn't overturn the preliminary injunction. Lyft says it too. We'll be forced to temporarily cease operations in California. August 13th. Judge Shulman denies Uber and Lyft's appeal. Uber says it plans to file another appeal while Lyft says it will seek a further stay from the state's appeal at, uh, appellate court. All right, so that's a lot. That, that's a lot that went down. All right, so let's jump into number two. Number two, will Uber and Lyft actually leave California until the election? And what if the Proposition 22 doesn't pass? Will they then stay out of California? And what about other states that are uh, trying to pass similar laws? Is Uber and Lyft just going to keep pulling out of those states? It's very, very curious times. Do you see here uh, The Verge, Uber and Lyft on track to leave California after failing to delay driver status order. And there's two sides to this. Here's a here's one one side. Uh, Uber would rather pull out of California than give its drivers benefits. And it's uh, any business model that relies on short-changing workers in order to make it, pro uh, in order to make it, probably shouldn't be anywhere, whether California or otherwise. And that is the uh, California Attorney General. Okay, uh, but then you've got Dara K. Okay, what's he saying? Uber CEO says drivers value freedom, not afforded to baristas. So he's basically saying that. Uh, even though the law says you, the drivers should be employees, that drivers value their freedom much more and would rather stay as independent contractors. And then uh, interestingly, California Uber rides could come to a stop, but Uber Eats still has a green light. I found this very curious, and this is from MarketWatch, because um, in Uber's recent um, earnings report, uh, apparently Uber Eats is like doubled, right? Everyone wants their food delivered during the pandemic. So if that's the case and, and those drivers are, are that, that uh, division, I guess, is staying in California, 
then Uber will have to comply with the employee mandate. Um, see, the, the timing of this for, for UberX and for Lyft is, is good for them because there aren't as many rides, right? Obviously, demand is way, way, way down because of that pandemic. So saying they're gonna walk away from uh, ride sharing for a couple of months during the height of a pandemic in California, they're not losing that much money. Uber though has Uber Eats and they're saying that's, th this article is saying that they're gonna stay in the market, which means those drivers would also uh, need to be classified as employees. So they're gonna have to work out some kind of an interim model between now and the election. And then it's really curious as to what's gonna happen uh, if they win the election or if they lose the election. So we of course won't know what's gonna happen until some, sometime in November. Okay, number three, what is going on with the stimulus package? Okay, just some background. We were all getting, uh, those of us on unemployment, we're getting an extra $600 a week in the months of April, May, June, and July. That ended about three weeks ago. The, uh, the White House, the Democrats and the Republicans have not been able to come to a meeting of the minds. They've not put a deal together. Uh, just recall the Democrats about three months ago put put the, the um, HEROES Act together. And then at the last minute, the Republicans put together a $1 trillion package. So you've got a $3 trillion package and a $1 trillion package. And they could not meet in the $2, two trillion range. Um, and then President Trump um, put together kind of a piecemeal bunch of uh, proposals in order to try and get $400 a week to the people, but it involved the states having to kick in 100 of the 400. Many states have said they don't have the money. Um, many states have said that technologically that's very, very difficult. And as you see here, it says, uh, this is the Los Angeles Times, a $400 unemployment extension is unlikely to arrive soon, if at all. So that's not encouraging. And it's, it's he said, she said, here's McConnell, a Republican, uh, Democrats treating coronavirus pandemic as political game with relief talks still stalled. Whereas on the Democrat side, Pelosi says stimulus talks are complicated by complete disarray on the Republican side. So just to remind you of what's being negotiated, uh, a, a stimulus payment similar to the $1,200 uh, many of us got last, uh, last round, uh, the extension of the unemployment, and this is the big one. The Democrats want to keep it at $600 through the end of the year. Uh, the Republicans wanted it around 200 or 70% of your income. And that's a big sticking point. How long would that go? Uh, Mitch McConnell wants li liability protection for businesses. And then there's funding for testing. We, we need testing in order to tamp down this uh, coronavirus. Funding for schools, very important because uh, kids are going to school and they need to have social distancing and a lot of things in place. Funding for state and local government, that's another big hot potato that um, the Republicans and the Democrats are very far apart on. And then funding for more business loans like the PPP and the EIDL. And then President Trump also threw in a, um, a uh, extension of the payroll tax, uh, which some have argued um, is going to impact Social Security and Medicare. and um, it's just a real mess. It's just a real mess. Okay, number four, what can drivers do in these uncertain times? All right, since um, if you're in California, it looks like uh, rideshare driving may be going away. Um, definitely check out, you know, uh, signing up for DoorDash. You can deliver food. Uh, you can deliver for Postmates, deliver meals. You can deliver groceries with Instacart, okay? Another thing you can do, um, if you haven't applied for the EIDL loan, those loans are still available. And I just made a video um, giving kind of an update on the EIDL loans, which I have applied for um, because it's a, it's a nice infusion of cash. You don't have to make any payments for the first year. Um, you can use it to pay yourself. And if you need that money and you need to extend those payments, you can extend them all the way over 30 years. So we'll put a link to, that, to, to the vid any videos that I've made about the EIDL and I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't already, because that can really um, give you some cushion during this very um, challenging time. The last thing I want to recommend, if you happen to be a writer, yeah, um, we'll put these links uh, below the video. 
but um, you can earn more money as a writer. Okay, so this is a course for online freelance writers. And also if you are a blogger, which is just writing on a website, um, turn your blog into a profit-making machine. So we'll have a link to both of these courses if that's something that you do. Um, being a writer, you know, that's something that interested me. And I thought, well, I bet there are some people out there who might be writers. So I wanted to just share that. We'll put the links below the video. So what are the key takeaways here? It's just like, it's all happening, yeah? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's big news that the judge ruled against them. Then it's big news that they say that they're gonna leave. Then it's big news that the judge, you know, upholds the ruling. Then it's big news that Uber Eats is still gonna stay in town. And then on top of that, we've got this whole stimulus situation, right? When, when are we gonna start getting those that, that extra money again? If, if ever, right? And then we got the pandemic happening and that's, you know, that seems to be flattening, but we're still at, like losing a, a thousand people a day are dying from this thing. We don't seem to have a, a, a national plan. So that's where I'm at. That's my key takeaway is nothing certain. And we just gotta like, uh, you know, bear down. All right, everybody, this is Jay Crater. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to our channel, sign up for notifications, and uh, be safe out there. Y'all go out and have a great day. Bye for now.